right, so I'm really excited this week to tell you guys about a brand new product that just came out. And so for the longest time, especially with the upgrade of my office downstairs in the basement, I've been stuck with using unarmored OM5 multimodal uh, LC fiber optic cabling just because it was a newer standard and they weren't making armored cabling yet. So essentially how armored cabling works, is just really a metal sheath that goes around the fiber optics. Um, and of course it's shielded when it comes to all the other um, parts or components that they use to shield cabling, but with the additional reinforcement of typically steel, a steel casing. So with that said, um, finally Yushin Home came out with a armored cable and they didn't just come out with an armored cable, they came up with, with two different um, I guess styles or brands. The first one is a slimmer three millimeter version, which is pretty much all you need for most residential applications. And a lot of these armor cables most certainly can go outside or they're newer and industrial five millimeter OM5 multimodal um, LC cabling which this typically has industrial applications, right? And this is some heavy duty stuff that I'm really excited to use. Now, when it comes to fiber optic cabling, now I understand you have a choice, right? And, and just hold on one second, I'm gonna grab um, a LC cable from the other room. One second. All right. So this is your standard OM5 fiber optic cable. And granted, um, it being unarmored, right? And there's, there's no steel casing on the inside of this. It's cheaper, but not by much. Usually it's like a 30 to 40% um, increase, um, which again, if you think about its applications, there really isn't a reason not to get an armored cable. So yeah, granted, I mean, one could argue saying for very short runs that something like this is more than adequate. And especially if space is limited, when it comes to holes that you're drilling, I can definitely see you using um, a thinner standard because you don't have a choice. But you know, hear me out for a second when it comes to all the applications for armored cabling. So the reason why I'm gonna be running this from pretty much my router down to my basement isn't because I'm worried about somebody stepping on it. It's not because I'm worried about mice chewing on it, even though that's the main reason why most people get armored fiber optic cabling, because mice love to chew. It doesn't matter what, right? Just if it's next to their face and they can put their mouth around it, um, typically you run into problems. Wood, electrical wires, mice are crazy like that. Um, but also when it comes to applications like this, drill bits, right? So uh, maybe down the road, um, a contractor's working on my house and um, comes very close to this cable, right? And maybe frays it a little bit. So typically having a slightly thicker um, cabling system not only insulates the light better and prevents um, all sorts of injuries to the cable when it comes to pressure um, and various other, um, you know, bending um, uh, cracks or fractures. But more importantly, it also um, resists abrasion, right? And also, if you have a drill bit going through the wall or a nail going th through a wall, it's more likely to resist fraying, breaking, or, or getting damaged when it comes to that process. Um, I, eventually, I'm thinking about um, upgrading to pretty much not this thickness, but the more residential armor cabling for my attic, because I am gonna get that um, spray foam insulation. So before all that happens, right, this way I can find all my terminals, I definitely wanna do the upgrade before I do the spray foam. So you're gonna see in another video that happened, but just for today, I'm gonna to be running this 10 um, foot uh, OM5 five millimeter um, LC multimodal cabling, uh, just down my wall to my basement, which is the lifeblood or the lifeline um, to my business, which is Chainshock LLC. So this, this fiber optic cabling is vitally important to work every single day um, when I'm downstairs. I don't like using Wi-Fi. It's very unreliable, especially if you have a lot of neighbors, but we'll cover that in another video. So again, to give you the rundown, non-armored or unarmored um, OM5 cabling, three millimeter armored OM5 cabling, and then the industrial strength um, five millimeter right here. So as you can see, there are also, also some differences, right? Like for instance, what I love about this company, they don't use your, uh, the, the standard ferrule um, connection, right? Like right here, can you see how one kind of looks like a cover? It just slips right on top. And the other one actually is an insert. See the difference? 
at least with the caps. One's more of a cap, the other one's more of an insert. So little things like that do make a difference when it comes to letting dust get in on these little terminals. So with that said, today's uh, project is gonna be uh, not, not so, such a long one, but um, but definitely I'm gonna try to update you guys when it comes to why I'm doing certain things and how certain things work, including these keystone jacks, right? So if you are gonna start a um, lengthy or extensive um, fiber optic or even ethernet system in your house, you definitely wanna get a six keystone jack. Now granted, right? When you first start, start out, um, you're not gonna have a lot of computers and I get the fact you don't need all these blanks, but it's better to have too many now and just um, insert um, blanks into the, the holes that you're not currently using versus continuously buying new plates. And so the keystones, all they do is they click in place right in here. And um, obviously they receive whatever connection um, that you want it to. So right here I have a uh, um, LC coupler, right? A fiber optic coupler that's gonna be used in one of those keystones. All right, well, let's get started.
All right, everybody, this is what a SC fiber optic cable single mode looks like. You see how it's got the um, steel sheath around it, like I said? So that's the inside of one. And most of them are roughly the same. So typically with multi-mode um, connections, typically they're a fatter core, which means light can travel um, a shorter distance because there's more resistance and defects when it comes to the light signal. Single mode, kind of like what your ISP provider probably use, is preferred because it can travel longer distances, but has a shorter bandwidth. And we are not sponsored by Airheads either, unfortunately. Do you want to say hi in the camera? Hi. Hi. All right, thanks, Logan. Good stuff. All right, so with that said, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, give it a like, and I will see you on the next one.